My name is Danko Emmanuel Kenjo, and I welcome you to Ken Tech 96 TV. So, having gone through series and power resistors, now let's simplify this circuit. And we are supposed to find the current I in the circuit and realize that this circuit is a combination of resistors connected either in series or in power. And we are supposed to find the current which is produced by the 12 volt cell. So in calculating for the current from Ohm's law, from Ohm's law, I know that V equal to IR. Therefore, I will be equal to V over R. So in the question, I know my voltage, but to calculate the current, to calculate the current, I also need my total resistance. And this total resistance can be calculated by simplifying this whole resistance which is connected in either series or power so rt represents the total resistance in the circuit so from this circuit we can identify that these three resistors one two three are connected in power so in simplifying them we can have two connected in power with two and also in connected in power with two so in simplifying this we are going to have 2 over 3. So if you have 2 over 3, it means that this whole power circuit has been reduced to a single resistor of 2 over 3. Now that single resistor which has been reduced to 2 over 3 will be in series with this 3 ohm resistor and also 3 ohm resistor. So we are going to have our RT which is equal to 2 over 3 in series with 3 in series with three and whenever resistors are connected in series we need to add them so we are going to have two over three plus three plus three and this is going to give us 20 over three that is the total resistance now what it means is that i've been able to calculate for my total resistance therefore the current in the circuit which is i so i will be equal to the voltage which is 12 volt over the total resistance which is 20 over 3 therefore my current in the circuit will be equal to 1.8 amps now remember in simplifying the resistors i omitted this 6 ohm resistor because it has been shorted from the circuit so in analyzing it we are not going to include the 6 ohm resistor. Okay, so for question 2, we are supposed to calculate the total resistance in the circuit. Then we calculate the current passing through resistor R1 and R2. So let's start with the first one. So to calculate the total resistance in the circuit, we are supposed to... Now this circuit has a lot of resistors connected in either pile and in series so let's find the total resistance which is rt now to calculate the total resistance we realize that this two ohm is connected in series with these two ohms so whenever resistors are connected in series we just have to add them so two in series with two and we are going to have two plus two which is equal to four so now this two circuit has been modified to four ohm resistor the 4 ohm resistor is in power with the 15 ohm resistor. And whenever resistors are in power, this is how we solve them. So here, the 4 ohm is in power with 15 ohm resistor. So we are going to have 4 times 15 over 4 plus 15. And we are going to have 60 over 19. Now, the 60 over 19 is in series with 5 ohm resistor. So we are going to have 60 over 19 in series with 5 ohm. So once they are in series, we have to add them 60 over 19 plus 5. And 60 over 19 plus 5 is going to give us 155 over 19. Now the 155 
over 19 will be in parallel with 5 ohm resistor. So we are going to have 5 ohm resistor in parallel with 155 over 19. And this is going to give 5 times 155 over 19. All over 5 plus 155 over 19. And the answer will be equal to 3 over 1. 3.1. Now the 3.1 is in series with this 3 ohm resistor. So we are going to have 3 in series with 3.1. We are going to have 3 plus 3.1, which is equal to 6.1. Then finally, this 6.1 will be in parallel with 10 ohm resistor. So we are going to have 10 in parallel with 6.1, which is equal to 10 times 6.1 all over 10 plus 6.1 and here we are going to have 3.789 so what it means is that the total resistance in the circuit which is rt is equal to 3.789 ohm okay so for question 2 we are supposed to calculate the current Going through resistor R1 and R2, so R1 and R2. So we need to calculate the current. Now the total current in the circuit is 5 amps. So then we need to split this 5 amps such that uh, 15 ohm and 2 ohm resistor will receive current from this 5 amp source current. So remember, before we were able to calculate the total resistance, we arrive at the equivalent circuit such that our 6.1 ohm was in parallel with 10 ohm. So using current divider, we can calculate the current which is flowing through the 6.1 ohm. So we are going to have it as calculating for our I1. And our I1 is the current which is flowing through our 6.1. So I1 will be equal to 10 over 10 plus 6.1 multiplying 5 and here our i1 will be equal to 3.1056 amps so it means that the current i1 which is flowing through the 6.1 ohm is 3.1056 amps so here the current which is flowing is 3.1056 then since before we also had uh, the 6.1 ohm 5 amps was connected in power with 115 over 19 resistor so if you want to find the current which is flowing through this 155 over 19 resistor we can also use the current divider wheel to calculate for our i2 and our i2 here will be equal to 5 over 5 plus 155 5 over 19 multiplying 3.1056. So here our I2 will equal to 1.180 amps. That will be our current, our current I2. So remember, our I2 is the current which is supplying this loops to 2 and 15. So to calculate the current I1, R1, which is flowing through resistor R1, it will be calculated as I R1 will be equal to 4 over the sum because these two resistors are connected in series. 4 over 4 plus 15 times 1.180 amps. So our IR1 will be equal to 0 0.248 amps. Then to calculate the current which is flowing through resistor R2, we are going to have IR2 which is equal to, still using the current divider rule, 15 over 15 plus 4 times 1.180 amps. And this is going to give us 0 0.9 32 amps 
Then the last part of the question is to calculate the voltage drop across resistor R1 and R2. So to calculate the voltage drop across resistor R1 and R2, you are going to have V R1, which is the voltage drop across resistor R1. Now voltage is always equal to IV, which is current times resistance. So the current which is flowing through resistor R1 is 0 0.248. So I'll multiply it by the value of the resistor, which is 15. Now I'm going to have 3.72 volts. Then VR2, which is the voltage drop across resistor R2, will be equal to 2. The value of the current, which is flowing through, is 0.932. If I multiply it by 2, which is the value of the resistor, I'm going to have RV. R2, which is equal to 1.864 volts. Thank you for watching Kentech 960 TV.